when we pulled together these events, I think uh, we did want to reflect our spirit or the spirit with which we want to address this critical question of healthcare sustainability. With our partners in our diversity, we think uh, we, can, uh, we can make a difference. There is uh, an urgent need to increase the efficiency of the healthcare system overall. And we have seen a few examples where, first of all, technology can provide support. There is also the urgent need to connect the stakeholders together. This is clearly uh, an issue that we, we cannot solve alone. Uh, we need to resolve conflicts and, uh, and try to work uh, through an holistic approach. I was very interested um, last year to read a, a report that had been produced by Standard & Poor's, the, the ratings agency, which um, concluded that um, rising healthcare costs were the single biggest threat to the creditworthiness of, uh, of uh, developed nations, but obviously the cost you know, can't just be measured in, in soaring public debt, but in foreshortened and compromised lives. EPF would like to see patients not purely seen as the recipients of care or part of the cost driver, but really part of the solution. We have been achieving a substantial increase in life expectancy even though we haven't invested in prevention. This maybe was a mistake, but in the future, if we are not able to channel some resources into prevention, will be a fatal mistake. Technology can only be, a, a, to my opinion, a small part of the solution. What the previous talkers, speakers also talked about is it's, it's a system change. Uh, we have to change the system, and it means that we need all the partners, all the parties in the system, working hand-in-hand, -hand, concurrent, uh, concurrently to come up with the solutions that actually work. Uh, technology in that respect is, is just an enabler. But we did see inefficiencies and lack of resources were creating enormous pressures on the system. The system could not cope with the number of patients that it had to absorb. A rheumatology patient at that time probably experienced somewhere about six years delay in some hospitals to get an appointment into the clinic. So if you have to wait six years, your time has gone to actually get the benefit from the system that you want. There is a very important component of this conference. If you're really serious about placing the patient at the center, you need to really understand what the daily life with a chronic condition is. All attendees can really interact with patients suffering from chronic condition and even experience some of chronic condition. I'm here at the conference and they are talking about uh, psoriasis. When they asked me to be a model to show to the people how it, how it can be, this is one of the effects. I can imagine now, uh, while walking around about a few hours, how it can be for the people who has it. The people see you walking uh, around and they are rather discreet, but they are still looking at you like, uh, oh, what, what does that lady have? We're going to take a couple of people from the audience and we're going to get a couple of people to wear these gloves. And this basically shows how difficult it is living with rheumatoid arthritis. And really get them started by just putting a chef's jacket on. Because it's things like, not just associated with food, it's the day-to-day -day living. It's, it's driving, it's walking, it's putting on a jacket. So trying to do the buttons with those, incredibly difficult. So we don't just look at it from that point of view, it's just to give really a much more food for thought in terms of making people aware about the day-to-day -day living of the disease. By implementing all we know, we could uh, do much more and we could improve both the outcomes of the, in terms of uh, survival and mortality and uh, uh, disabilities and so forth, but also we could save a lot of money in terms of uh, improving the population health overall. What is ahead of us is a major transition of our healthcare system. I think uh, at the European Commission, I think it's, it's really uh, the spirit we should all have, work together in a very transparent and honest and good faith uh, way uh, to really uh, generate the best for the patients and for ultimately the, the citizens.